I am just saying. Moving on to another very interesting story. We were introduced to her back in 2021 in November. We were then shown a whole video of them saying welcome to the new family, our new online family. And then quickly we were, see, we were shown her taking pictures and po po uh, posing for pictures with her dad. And this was Abby, the child that was sired between uh, Mr. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Kabi Wajizas. Wajizas and his cousin. And we all just glossed over the fact that that was a whole incestuous relationship that sired a child back in 2013. And we just glossed over it because, wow, why Jesus? They love Jesus and we should love them because they love Jesus, which I call total BS. We will still need to have that conversation because I feel like we, 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 we kind of danced around that because a lot of people maybe are culpable. A lot of people have had these kinds of interactions with their cousins or their relatives. And so nobody really wanted to bring it up because it was a sore spot, but we still need to discuss it. It's happening rampantly in our society but now we are speaking a lot more about abby again it is 2023 and who brought her up none other than millie wajizas the wife or girlfriend or significant other and baby mama stroke mother of the children of kabi wajizas are they three now it's they're up to three <laughs> they're up to three now right yeah. oh, she just announced a. Pre she showed us a baby bump mm -hmm. we're not sure whether she's given birth or not but it's closing up to three now and on a an interview she had with Vicky Vicky Nath she actually did speak a lot about Abby well a lot in comparison to what she's been saying in the past which is absolutely nothing she said that apparently um there is a reason why she's not necessarily had Abby on their socials um, um, after 2021 November. She's spoken about the fact that, you know, parenting is tough altogether. But they decided because Abby was such a new addition to their family that they would have, they felt like it was important for them not to put her online on socials until they had a relationship, a personal relationship with her. Which again, I call total BS because what? Mm -hmm. What? How is that even a, what? That's, you know what? Anyway, they said that they really preferred to have, a, um, you know, a relationship with her offline um, as opposed to having this whole relationship online. And I feel like it's BS because one, the Wajizas family have never, never, never in the past um, shown any discretion with their lives. They tell us everything and anything. The only thing that has been um, very tight-lipped with regard to them is just this relationship with Abby and the family, right? Mm -hmm. We don't question the fact that it is important to have a relationship or form a relationship with your child who is suddenly introduced to your family in private. But like, why the sudden brand new act now? Like, why are you acting brand new now? Because it's a new child who was sired out of a weird situation. Like, I think, be open and honest about it. Yes, someone made a boo-boo. And yes, it was a horrible boo-boo. Maybe a boo-boo that we shouldn't gloss over, but a boo-boo either way. And try and make her feel like part of the family. Because like it always feels like, why are you hiding? What, like, what are you hiding anyway? Mm -hmm. I mean, we already know all of it. So what is it that you're hiding? Is there more drama? Like, it always arouses so much more suspicion when you do not declare everything about a, a particular situation. Do I think she's still feeling vexed about having this sudden news and her name being attached to it mm -hmm. out here in the public absolutely i would be very very vexed as well however do i think that they are then justifying um they're making her life a little bit insignificant by them not involving her and including her in their videos like they always do involve everyone yeah, I feel like they're being they're, they're slighting her a little bit. So I, I would definitely want to see how that would be a beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. Imagine someone actually showing us how to to bring in a stepchild into their family and like that relationship, forming that relationship. I think that would be new and different. I would definitely love to see it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do feel for Miliwa Jesus. You know, she she didn't sign up for this. Because remember she even like Initially, when the rumors came out about Abby, Kabi were Jesus and his wife sat down and told us, this is my cousin, and that baby is Abby, who is my niece. And they did a whole video, and Millie where Jesus was crying about it, saying, how can you people be trolls? Like, as in she stood by her husband while he lied to the whole world, and whole time, whole time he knew the truth, whole time he knew, this girl is my daughter. He knew the whole time. It's not like news to him, but she stood beside him. She went on camera and cried 
either it was false tears or, or, or whatever. But either way, she stood beside him and did the most. And then turns out the whole time it's his daughter. So now they have to come in front of cameras all over again and say, you know what? This is my daughter and I accept him and I accept her. DNA tests are out and we're trying to incorporate her into the, in, into the family. She did not sign up for this. No, 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 so no. it would be too much of us to expect from her to show us how this blended perfect family is coming in together. It's too much. But she but knew. What? She knew. What do you mean she knew? The alleged story. Remember when the story broke? Uh -huh. It was, yes, we didn't know. This is not our child. Da, 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 da. But the story, according to Mama Abby, was that <laughs> Millie knew. In Jesus. fact, Millie knew so much that mm -hmm. I think there was a scenario where they'd gone to hospital together or something like that. Like, I remember very distinctly that that is information that was leaked on the internet. She knew. <sighs> Allegedly, she but knew. But still, it's not her child. At the end of the day, it is not her child. I'm it is not her cross to, to bear. Back of my and head women right now. need to normalize not carrying this cross for their husbands and doing the most for these men because you're trying to be the perfect wife. You're trying to be a good woman. You're trying to be a supportive partner. You're trying to be our Jesus. No, it's. It's, it's a lot, but you know, it works for them. Their YouTube ratings <sighs> are an auto, at an all-time high. Yeah. So why?